I'm afraid the world's reached a tipping point, a precipice between total annihilation and everything's going to be just fine. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Helium. The world's helium supply is deflating, okay? It's going very fast and there's nothing we can do about it. No, I'm not one to tell tall tales, but there's something the world needs to know. The U.S. has been stockpiling helium since the 1960s in a deep underground reservoir outside Amarillo, Texas called the Bush Dome. By the mid-1970s, 1.2 billion cubic meters of that beloved buoyant gas was stored there. Today, the reserves are set at a minuscule 0.6 billion cubic meters. That's half the cubic meters in less than 50 years. If my calculations are right, our helium reserves will deflate by the year 2030. You ask me if I'm worried? Yeah, I'm worried. When I was a little kid, maybe four or five, my mom took me to the zoo. She stepped away for what felt like an eternity, but was in reality probably only a minute. When she came back, she tied a white satin ribbon to my arm, and at the end of that ribbon, a matching balloon. I stared for hours at that floating ball of wonder, but all I could think of was how could she have been so careless? Fact, helium is used as a cryogenic to cool down superconducting magnets for MRI machines. Fact, helium is an inert gas used for growing semiconductor crystals to quickly cool components and to control heat transfer. Fact, eight out of 10 birthday parties have at least seven, seven helium-filled balloons. That other 20%? Well, let's just say that some people have the decency to use good old-fashioned CO2 straight out of the lungs our dear Lord blessed them with. We need to start thinking about our future. We need to conserve. We need to adapt. We need to be helium-free. Or what? Or what what? What happens if we don't become helium-free? That's a darn good question. <laughs>